I want to go someplace I've never been before, so I'm on my way, I hope, to Burnt Bridge Pond and the Burnt Bridge Pond lean-to. A uh, lean-to I've never stayed in. I'm at the Brandy Brook Trailhead, or the Brandy Brook Flow Trailhead, east of Cranberry Lake on Route 3 in St. Lawrence County, New York. The last person who has signed in but hasn't signed out did not put a destination and there is a car here at the trailhead so there could be somebody at the Burnt Bridge Pond lean-to. I'd forgotten about this. There's a rocky section of the trail here. I don't know about half a mile from Route 3. Big cobbles are hidden underneath those leaves. If you're not picking your feet up, it's pretty easy to trip. We're coming up on the intersection with the campground trail. I've gone 1.4 miles according to my Garmin. I have 5.1 miles to go. If my math is right, that's 6.5 miles from the trailhead to the lean-to. There aren't too many mud holes on the trail, but where there are, you can usually find stepping stones or somebody's laid corduroy in them so you can walk across without getting your boots all muddy for the most part. And there's our trail to Burnt Bridge Pond, branching off the Brandy Brook Trail. According to that sign way up there, Burnt Bridge Pond is 3.9 miles. Something just doesn't add up. It's three miles to State Route 3. My trip distance is 2.9 miles, which is about correct. If you add up 5.1 miles, with the 1.4 miles back to Route 3 from that sign, that gives you a total distance to Burnt Bridge Pond of 6.5 miles. But if you add the 3 miles here to the 3.9 miles there, you get 6.9 miles. So I guess what I'll do is just keep track and check the mileage with my GPS. It's an amazing day to be in the woods. It's a steady, slight incline on this trail. I'm just going uphill a little bit at a time. How old is that trail marker? Conservation Department. Not even Department of Environmental Conservation. That means that's pre-1970. Okay, we're coming up to a fork in the trail. There's a sign to the right. It says lean to and points down the right hand of the fork, and that makes sense based on the map, if I remember it right. Although the sign is not unambiguous. There's a sign on the other side of the trail, 5.4 miles to Route 3. The lean to is hidden from view until you get right up to the pond. Right, let's check out the GPS. Trip info, 6.5 miles. Preview is behind the lean to. You head back toward the main trail and then turn right. We have an outhouse style privy. Here we have the Burnt Bridge Pond lean to. Well, the ground right in front of the lean to is very well drained. It doesn't have that muddy depression that's in front of a lot of lean-tos, so score for this lean-to. It's an interesting lean-to. It's made with 6 by 6s or what looks like 6 by 6s rather than the traditional logs. One nice thing are those pegs in the back. Big thanks to ADK for being lean-to adopters here. Our first entry in the log book is 62521. Beautiful spot. Road mountain bike in from Route 3. And there are not a lot of entries in here. We're going quickly forward in time. The last entry was 814. Time passes much too quickly. Enjoy the moment. Here's someone from 8924. Remnants of Hurricane Debbie are present. Tarped off front of Lean 2 to stay dry. You're looking straight out of the Lean 2 over the fire ring. Your view is basically to the south southeast. And here's the view from the Lean 2.
can't really get down there to dip or get water for drinking or cooking. So I have to hunt up a different location for getting my water for dinner. Those don't look like they'd be great places for getting water. That water looks pretty scuzzy. I don't want to clog up my filter with a bunch of algae and detritus. I don't see any firm shoreline. Hmm. This is a peat bog. The trail continues on down the shore. And this might be a little bit of a better spot. That water looks a little more clear. Still think I will filter and boil. Yep, there's a downed hemlock tree. Be plenty of firewood for tonight. Appears to be a very lightly used site. The vegetation grows right up to the lean-to. Even right in front of the lean-to, there's a grassy area. Tonight's dinner, green gumbo by Firepot, which is made in England. Eat well in the wild. What I like about this, is I haven't seen this before, they mark the scale on the side and they tell you how far to fill it. Fill to line seven, do not burn yourself. It's kind of like rice with burnt grass clippings. So when your mom says, if you're hungry, you'll eat it, she's right. I have my Lucy light hung up. It's a little solar inflatable lantern. See, that provides quite a nice light. The view from inside the lean-to this morning. You can see with the sun coming up, if you don't want to be awakened by bright sunlight first thing in the morning, you'll need to tuck into that northwest corner of the lean-to.